Hello guys and welcome to another video in this series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about permissions in Linux. So let's begin. Every file in Linux belongs to a user, group and others. Okay, user is the owner of that file, group is the group owner of that file which contains various number of users and other contains all the user which are not in this group and not the owner of that file okay these three are also known as the permission classes right after that each permission class for the file can have certain restriction okay or file restriction these could be read restriction write restriction and execute restrictions okay these restrictions or the file permissions are also known as the access modes okay access modes right so each permission class can have the read write and execute permissions okay so user can have rwx restrictions and group can have rwx restriction or permission and others okay so now let's create a file here with the name file1 okay and i'll do the long listing of this file okay so this particular field tell us the access mode for various permission classes okay note that the most left hand side does not include in this okay dash means that it is a regular file and d means that it is a directory right so first three is for the user owner or the user that owns that file okay so currently if you want to know who owns that file then this field tell us the owner of that file so wiki right now is the owner of this file okay then the next three is for the group owner or simply group okay so this here this field tell us the group owner which is right now wiki okay so wiki is also a group and last three are for the other user okay who is not the owner of that file and not belongs to this group okay all the for all the other user these access modes will be used okay now these access modes are different for directories and files for files, read means that whether you are allowed to read the content of that file or not. Okay. W or write means that whether you can edit the content of that file or not. Okay. Similarly, execute means that whether you can execute that file or not. Okay. But for directory, read means that whether you can find that what are the subdirectories and files present in that particular directory. Okay. So whether you can do the listing or not, that will be told by the read permission okay for the directory for writing or write permission for a directory means that whether you can create and delete new files in that directory or not okay and the execute means that whether you can go inside that particular directory or not okay so remember that there is a minor difference when we talk about the permission for directories and for regular files okay now if you want to change the permission we use the ch mode command right and by default this command can only be run by the owner of that file okay and the root user root user can do anything right so you can change the file permission in two ways the first one is the symbolic way and the second one is the numeric or octal way okay so first let's talk about the symbolic way in which we use the ch mode command and let's say that i want to set the permission for the user okay so after that i will write here u okay now if you want to add some permission for example it does not have the execute permission right now then you can write here plus okay and since you want to execute it then you have to write here x okay x means execute r means read and w means write okay and let's say that i want to specify another per permission for others user okay let's say the permission to be w and x so i can write here others means o okay here i had written the codes also okay user means u group for group you will use g and for others you will use o okay and i want to add the permission of writing so i will write here plus w okay basically giving the permission we write the plus and if you want to remove the permission then you write the minus okay and then comma okay and then let's say that i want to remove the permission of read for group wiki okay so i can write here g and then since i am removing the permission i can write here minus okay and which permission i am trying to remove that is the read read permission so i'll write here r okay so after that i will give the name of the file that is the file one okay if i do again the long listing of this file you will see for group the read permission has been removed okay similarly 
for the other user we i had given the right permission okay we had given here the right permission and for the user owner or for the owner of the file i had given the executable permission okay i had used here multiple permission all together for multiple permission classes but you can use one permission class at a time for example let's say i write here instead of u plus i write here u minus okay i can write here let's say w also and x also right so it is going to remove all the permission for this user okay so if i press enter and now if you again see it sorry i have to also write here r okay i had written here x okay so now you will see all the permission for that particular user has been removed okay in place of this you can also use the equals to okay so let's say that you want to set some permission you will write here equals to equals to means that it is going to change the permission as defined here so i can write here r w x okay so if i press enter okay i have to define here file also right so now if i do long listing then you will see it has given the r w x now there is a minor difference when you use the plus minus and equals to okay when you write here plus or minus then you will see the other permission are not getting altered for example if i am writing here plus x then only the this field is getting altered okay similarly when i was writing here plus w then only this particular bit or this particular field was getting altered okay similarly when i was using here minus r then this particular field was getting edited okay but when i am using the equals to then all the three access mode for particular class will be changed for example if i am writing here let's say ch mode and then if i am writing here let's say for u equals to r okay and then i will give the file one right so if i am using here equals to then all the three bits or all the three fields will be affected okay for the user right so if i press enter here and then do the ls of dash l then you will see only read permission is there the other two permission are not given okay but instead of that if i had written here let's say uh plus okay then only this particular field will be altered okay let's say i'm writing here for the other user i'm writing here only here r okay and then i will press enter and now if you see here only this particular field has been altered okay this was already there so i have to write here let's say execute okay now if you see here only this field is getting changed okay so when i am using the equals to and if there is not that particular access mode then that permission is going to be removed okay and in case of plus minus only that particular access mode is going to be add or delete so keep this point in mind okay so now let me clear it right and the next method for changing the permission is the numeric or octal method okay why we call it octal method because the number we specify here is from 0 to 7 okay now how does it work okay basically we use some numbers for reading purpose we use the 4 okay this is for the read permission right for writing the code will be 2 okay you have to remember this code right for write permission okay and for execute we use the one okay this is for execute so now let's create a file another file with the name file 2 okay and do the long listing of this file and this this are the file permission currently okay now let's say that you want to give the permission as execute and run okay execute and read okay so the code for execute is one and for read is 4 okay then you have to add both of these that means i am adding it and it will become 5 okay so what we generally do we write here ch mode then we write here three numbers okay one two three three numbers okay then in the first field we specify the permission that we want to set for the user then in the second number or in second place we specify the permission that we want to give for the group and in the third for the others okay now let's say that in the first field or for the user i want to give all the permission read write and execute okay so i want to give read write and execute so then i have to sum it up so this is four two and one okay and after summing it is seven so i'll write here seven okay now let's say i want to specify the permission for group to be let's say only read and execute so for reading it is 4 and for executing it is 1 okay and combining it will give us the 5 so i'll write here 5 
okay and then let's say here i want to give no permission at all okay for no permission you can write here zero okay also note that when there is no permission here it is written dash okay so after that we will specify here file name okay simple as that now if you see here ls and then file to you will see the file permission has been changed as we specified here okay for seven it means read write and execute so read write and execute okay for five it was the code was four and one that means read and execute you will see this is here read and execute okay and zero means no permission at all so for the other user there is no permission at all okay so these codes can also be used other than that you can also specify the multiple file argument for example i write here 777 and i write here file 1 and file 2 okay so we can give here multiple file names also okay or directory names also right so if i press enter and i do the long listing here then you will see the permission for file 1 and file 2 has been changed now let me clear it now you can also use the dash r option with the ch mode command that is used when you want to change the permission of the files and subdirectories present inside some particular directory okay for recursively changing the permission you can use this option okay so for example let me create the directory here with the name dir2 okay and let's say that there are some files inside of it so i'll create some file here with the name let's say file1 and another with the name let's say file2 okay and let me create another subdirectory inside of it okay so i'll create dir2 and then dir21 right now if you see here the permission present all the files and subdirectory present inside the d2 you will see these are the permission currently set okay so if i want to change this permission recursively then i can use here ch mode dash r and then the permission that i want to set let's say 777 all the permission and then the directory name that is the d2 okay so if i press enter now if i again do that you will see the permission are changing recursively okay recursively it is changing our permission right also note that the permission of dir2 is also changing let me write here ls of dash l then you will see the permission of dir2 is also changed okay so this is all about the permissions in linux that you can use so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video